Another big ass mess on my property? Chop, I gotta train you to shit on the neighbor's yard. Would you stop doing this shit? Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, how's it going, homie? Hey. Yeah. Hey, uh, you seem incredible lately. Yeah, I was afraid you would say that. Ah! Oh. Ah. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Wow, everything's good. Ah. Poodles are agents of So Satan. I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Uh, huh? At the smoke yeah. in. We're what? Yeah. We're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. <laughs> you know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. You know, we're gonna crush them with our resolve. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears throat> hmm. Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, this seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. 
It's a revolution. And then call me. Crazy motherfucker. San Andreas needs you. I I'll text you where the stuff is. Hey, go quick. Hey, yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase with the cops! Like, like, right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a sh- ...out of her getting busted! I guess that's her. How the fuck I get myself into this?
I guess that's her. Man, how the fuck I get myself into this? photo. What can I say? A great journalism. Our little sex tape said sloppy poppy and a full-blown meltdown. How does it feel to be on the front lines, dude? Shit, it ain't exactly Iraq, man. And you know what? I might feel a little less degraded if I was fucking getting paid. Ah, uh, all in good time. The truth comes first. I'll be in touch. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend.
You gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. His face that last time I popped it. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep bastard of the way from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. I don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing, nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So no. I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, them, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, no, no. Because no, no, I'm no. tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like it. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is it gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's not thing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me, after you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought it in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know? Look out! How long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or? Or? We stumbled on the cash depot job. Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. 
Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bus, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. Come on, do your patriotic duty. Sparky, Sparky! Not that! No, come on, please! Don't zap me! Don't do it! Not that! Shit, please! Whoa, whoa! Come on! I think he's getting a stiffy. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than you. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a... Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in the Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. 
Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up! No, please. He don't look loose to me. My teeth are perfect! I just have them laser! Are you still alive? Chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. It's the day I got the kid now. The sick of the That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's oh, won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo. We gotta break him down to build him up. You can. Come on. Three. Not. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying Beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until no. you give us some intel on our targets. Oh, he, he, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. I will drown. I will. My mouth. I, I will drown. Say this! Oh! Ow! I got blood in my mouth! I was wrong! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! Always by the book! That's my line! Yep, he comes. Oh, oh, the black dude is terrible. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> oh, 
Mr. K. Uh, Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets he should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's detail. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball uh, game to get uh, to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you... I have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. <laughs> with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Run, you're free. Oh, oh, oh. But my family is here. 
Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. 